Hey there, Valpo. We are just about a week out from Thanksgiving break, and we are starting to experience some of the coldest weather this school year across campus. Students have been wearing their hats and gloves, and you're going to need to continue to do so for this weekend because the story just isn't going to get any better than this. Uh, for today, we're going to expect a high of around 31 degrees, a low of around 22, and as you can see, it's quite far off from the average temperatures for this time of year, nowhere near that 50 degree mark. And like I said, not going to get much better. So for the next couple of days. The temperatures are going to be the main story. We made it up to about 29 degrees this morning. Through the afternoon, we're only going to make it up to about freezing. You only look out to western Illinois there, 31 in Joliet, 31 in Ottawa, and then we go back down into the upper 20s for the evening hours overnight, 24 here in Valpo as we wake up tomorrow morning, 26 in Gary, 26 in Chicago. Now, we make it back up to the freezing marks and it just isn't going to change over the next couple of days. Now when it gets this cold, of course wind chills are going to be a problem, especially if you're waking up early in the early in the morning for classes. Uh, yesterday into today, we made it only into the upper teens this morning here in Valpo, 16 in Gary, 18 degree wind chill in Chicago. So if you have a morning class, uh, 8.30, 8 a.m., and you're trying to get from one side of campus to the other, uh, it's definitely smart to have a hat, gloves, and to really bundle up. 14 degrees here tomorrow morning uh, for a wind chill, and it just doesn't get any better than that. So. Unfortunately, it is going to be very chilly for those morning classes, so be sure you're being smart and dressing appropriately. For today, though, 31 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, winds out of the west at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting up to 30 uh, miles per hour throughout the day, and then for tonight, we'll drop to that low of around 22 degrees, mostly cloudy conditions, and then for tomorrow, we'll stick around 31 degrees and with partly sunny skies, and again, watch out for those winds, especially in the morning when it's chillier uh, out of the west at about 10 to 15 miles miles per hour. So the temperatures are of uh, concern for the next couple of days, but as we move into Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday, we are looking for the potential of snowfall to accompany those colder temperatures. So anywhere from the lower 30s to upper 20s, and then as we get into next week, just before Thanksgiving break, uh, we will be seeing some snowfall.